the same information the major room audio recording in areas that were under evacuation order and by DJ which Mahomes. FEMA is sheltered to report for report to for each area. Now their channels display blank blue screens. Lee sank back into the couch and stared on shore of what he saw waiting for. Perhaps the channels to start transmitting Chapter again. One. Perhaps his computer oh. to chime informing him that Frank was on the other line. Lee hardened. Maybe he was just waiting to wake up from a bad dream. The Persian blue screen rug. staring back at him felt the it surreal. He shook his head. Spelled, like, Frank was the whole paper on he his had to feet. call. A virus couldn't knock the, the seven United States two government. Degree temperature there were the scientists, whole hot. departments whose One sole purpose for existing, existing was to his identify and eliminate these types of threats before they even became I mean, a problem. His cotton wonder t -shirt leading to his this chest. wore a joke, but this the walls of the room were Colonel Frank Green would never play that. Everything was joke. frustrating. Lee didn't even the think Frank would play any joke at all. The he didn't strike as his, his person type of his prison. Something was keeping him from and calling him mad. The internet signal his could body have been damaged or destroyed where Frank was, it's causing him to be unable to contact Lee for the past two days. In the Text would be working overtime to his establish right contact with state the tennis ball and coordinators so of him. Frank could tell them to hold to on to the side of his German shepherd. Tangled, in the meantime, he had no idea what to do. Bouncing ball with, with himself, he would usually his busy himself with a book or a movie, but the even the rhythm seemed inappropriate, and he would not be able to focus seconds. on reading a book with his mind running close and not helpful. And what the hell is happening in the brine world outside the his bunker? His throat. He drank the rest of Sand his water bottle and went to his, his teeth. treadmill. And he left the incline course through his legs. That had brought it up and to arms. an eight-minute mile pace. This he long needed to wait some time and like stand on the road for a while. Alive. Words punched through the rip tide of blood rushing that was past chapter his ears. one the only easy day was yesterday he opened his eyes and the salty sea and gritting sand fled from his mouth but the words still hung before him tangible now carved into wood the plague was big, but about three feet long, and the words were hacked out, like a convict had gone to work with a penknife. Crude and simple, like the sentiment it bore. Below the chunk of wood was a large steel door that looked like the entrance to a vault but it was Lee who was inside the vault the only easy day was yesterday he wondered how true those words were going to be Lee had spent the better part of the day in front of his computer reading the same news bulletins that had been displayed for the past week no one had uploaded the stories, images of burning cities, overcrowded refugee camps, and violence on the scale of genocide remained untouched. No turnaround, no good news, no cure. He had spent most of the past hour lost in thought, gazing at a picture of a very young, on Honduran child standing in the middle of the street wearing no shoes, 
dirty blue shorts and a yellow shirt stained with blood. He held a half-empty water bottle likely given to him by one of the humanitarian aid stations. The look on his face that face was that of a of someone recovering from a knockout punch. Eyes open but not seeing. Behind a boy and out of focus was a leg. No body to accompany it. It had been sheared off just above the knee and now lay in some dirty Hunter N Street. The caption under the picture read, Hunter N Boy Outside Red Cross Shelter. The picture was dated June 28th. It was now July 3rd. Most articles on the news website were dated June 28th. One or two were dated June 29th. The one from 29th were just blurbs. U.S. military recalling all overseas. Troops back to the homeland. Martial law was in effect. Frank had confirmed all of this yesterday. But despite the look on his face, he had reassured Lee that it would all be over soon. He even apologized for keeping Lee in the hole for, the, for this long. Maybe another week at most. I'll send you a gift card to Rose Chris. He had said just hang in there. Lee realized that he had inadvertently been tempting to Tango with the bouncing ball and tossed it in the air. Tango let it bounce once, then snagged it in midair. He smelled and wagged his tail, looking deeply satisfied, completely ignorant. But that was the beauty of a dog. He were strongly advised as companions in the hole, a place where Lee had spent many days, usually two or three weeks at a time. There had been occasions when national disaster was foretold but averted, such as when Fukushima mounted down after the earthquakes off the coast of Japan. The Washington Worry Worry Ward said fallout could reach mainland USA and cause agriculture agricultural collapse which would in turn collapse the stock market, the economy, and the government. They kept him in the hole for 18 days. A month after that, Korea created a nuclear scare that rippled through the various offices in Washington but never reached the press, which always surprised Lee since the people controlling him made it out to be the next Cuban Missile Crisis. On that occasion, they kept him in the hole for a week. Now that the hole was a bad place, it contained almost every creature comfort one could think of. It was a little over a thousand square feet with a great kitchen, fully stocked bar, then with a big TV, a bedroom with a king-size bed, and a bathroom with a large jacuzzi tub, and a sauna next to the shower. It was stocked with a week of fresh food, three months of freeze, dried meals, and three months worth of water. 
a battery bank trickle charged from solar panels on the surface could run every electronic in the place for nearly a year, and Lee kept it full of entertainment from books and magazines to video games and movies. Yes, Lee's bunker had everything except human interaction and the freedom to leave. So far, the Washington worry words had always been wrong. A few weeks after he locked himself in, Frank's face would appear on Lee's Lee Harden's computer screen, smiling and telling him to come back to the land of the living. That was his signature, it's all over phrase, but Frank would also be on Lee's computer every day at 1200 hours to give Lee an update, not once in all. The day Lee had been restricted to his bunker had Frank been even a minute late, no update.